In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Writing Solutions to 3x3 three three Systems of Linear Equations from Augmented Matrices. We're given here two augmented matrices, A and B, and told that each are for the variables X, Y, and Z, and that the augmented matrix is already in its reduced row echelon form. And from this format, we know that our first column represents the X's in our system of linear equations, the second y, and the third z. And then looking at this first example, I can tell that we have just the one in the x column, and we have a two in the far column. So a one x would equal two. So we can tell that our x must be two. From the second row, we have a one in the z column, so 1z equals, this time that far row is a 4. So we found our z value equals 4. The third row is where things get interesting because all of the variables have been zeroed out. So we have 0x, 0y, 0z, but equals a negative 2. So essentially that third row is saying this. And with all of the variables having zero coefficients, that would mean that zero equals negative two. And since this is not a true statement, that means our system of linear equations does not have a solution. Looking at our second system of linear equations, our columns are again x, y, and z. This time I'm going to start with the second row. Since it has a one in the z column, I know that 1z will equal 3, so we have our z value. Similar to our previous system, we do have these 0x, 0y, 0z, but this time they're all equaling 0. So that equation is just saying that 0 equals 0, which is a true statement, but it doesn't tell us anything about the other values, x and y. For that, we'll move to this first row, translating this back into the equation, the 1 is in the x column, so 1x, then minus 5 is in the y column. There's a 0 in the z column and a 3 on the other side. So we do have an equation here relating x and y. We can say that x minus 5y equals 3. If I solve this for x, then x equals a positive 5y plus 3. So our values are x is equal to 5y minus 3. And we haven't been able to determine anything about y. So y would just be equal to y. I could use this form, replacing z with 3 and replacing x with 5y minus 3. This is going to have infinitely many solutions, but I know that the form will always be that z is 3, y is going to vary, but whatever y is, x will be 5 times y minus 3. 